Okay, most of you know me as the alternative energy guy with my wind turbine projects and so forth. What you might not know is I'm also an alternative OS guy, okay? And uh, oh, by the way, I do have a new wind turbine project for those of you who remember me from my wind turbine project, a much larger wind turbine, finally. Uh, easier to build in my opinion. Uh, there's not going to be any cutting out circles with the router and those things that might have hung some of you up. Uh, but right now I want to talk about why you should consider switching to Linux, specifically Linux Mint with the Cinnamon Desktop. I recommend the Cinnamon Desktop, for, especially for those of you that are used to something like say Windows 7 or something that will make the transition very easy. It's, it, you don't have to do any command lines, although you can still do that. Uh, it, you can just do everything user interface. It has a full user interface. It's absolutely beautiful. It's fully customizable. Comes loaded with more software. Everything. The Office Suite. You can you can uh, you can Skype with it. You can you can even install what's called Wine, which is a Windows compatibility later, and run Windows software on Linux. So it, you won't be lacking anything. And uh, now that that gets me to the the concept of why I think open source is you know the open source concept behind Linux is something that I really really believe in. Uh, I am of the conviction that good deeds are done in the light while evil is done in the darkness. Open source is open. That means there are many eyes looking at it. Software engineers, many of them PhDs looking at this software. Okay, if there's any leaks, any security things, they jump in on it and fix it. It's the most secure operating system in the world. That's what all the web servers, almost all of them, on the not all of them, but the, the majority of web servers on the internet are Linux. And, uh, and so you know, you know, I'm, you know, by saying that you know, evil is done in the darkness, and that you know, Apple and Microsoft hide their source code. Um, I'm not really accusing them of evil, although I'm sure some of that's going on. Um, you know, but I, I don't, I don't see why why the public should have to trust them. They they could release their source code so everybody could look at it and copyright it. There are there are open source projects that are copyrighted. Uh, so that so the corporations can buy the software, look at the source code, and make sure that it's doing what they need it to do, that they can trust it. Okay, most of us just kind of take it for granted that Microsoft and Apple are looking out for our interests, and I think that's pretty naive. Um, but I'm not I'm not about bashing Microsoft and Apple. What I am about is I want to show you Linux Mint. This is very easy to distribute. I bought this CD at Amazon. Okay, it's a fully already loaded CD. Although you can go to Linux Mint and burn your own. It's a DVD. You can burn your own DVD. Just go to the Linux Mint website. I'll have it down in the comments and burn it to a DVD. If you got an old Windows XP box, it's just sitting around. You can recycle it, give it a new life with a brand new operating system. It won't run like a dog anymore once you install Linux on it. It'll run smooth and beautiful. Okay, I'm not going to assume anything. I'm going to take you through it step by step. First thing you're going to do, you need your Linux uh, DVD, either the one that you bought, like I did at Amazon, or the one that you downloaded off of uh, LinuxMint.com and burn to your own DVD. Okay, you're going to boot your computer. You do need a bootable machine. And pop that sucker into the DVD drive and immediately start pressing F5 F5 on your keyboard okay if this doesn't work on your computer you might have to hit F2 and get into the BIOS setting and, and tell it to boot from the DVD but okay there it worked it's booted off the DVD okay and it's saying to start Linux Mint so I'm gonna hit enter and start Linux Mint. Okay, now it's going to start running Linux Mint. Okay, when you ins when you put that DVD in, make sure you're hooked up to the internet. Okay, and it'll take a while. You're going to see a black screen for a while. Then then it will uh, then it'll be uh, you'll see a little message. It's going to be looking for the network configuration. And what it will do is it will boot up to the Linux operating system. It is now running on the Linux operating system off of the DVD. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is you will see over here, and you see the DVD icon, um, install Linux Mint. Okay, so I'm taking this old XP box here, 
and you have a couple options when you uh, install Linux Mint. You can wipe out the old hard drive and completely get rid of Windows, or you can leave Windows as a as a partition that you can still boot up in Windows if you would like. And probably most of you might want to do that, unless unless you have another Windows machine and you don't really don't need your old Windows box ever. But I, I'm going to show you how to do it with a uh, a partition. And. Uh, Okay, the next thing you're going to see here is the um, your options here. Your current your uh, computer currently has multiple operating systems on it. What would you like to do? Install Linux Mint alongside them, you know, and that saves all your everything, all your documents. And believe it or not, you can access and open a lot of these, uh, you know, like your music files. Uh, if you have MP3 files and so forth, you can open them off your old. You can access your other hard drives, your Windows hard drives from Linux and uh, and run those files um, or you can or you can just wipe out the machine if you want to just a clean machine uh, and get rid of all the rest uh, and then there's a custom thing which probably most of you aren't going to do uh, unless you're you know going to install some kind of uh, make it into some kind of a server machine or something you're going to do something custom to it but we're going to install with Windows alongside continue okay now it's giving me it's saying okay this is not a huge hard drive, although this has two hard drives. Um, and it's asking what kind of partition I want here for this. And we're going to install now. And yes, you can allocate how much drive space you want to dedicate to, you know, whatever, if you want more for Windows or less for Linux. Um, the thing is, is, uh, you know, you might, if you want to do one upgrade to a computer, get yourself a big old terabyte hard drive, install Linux on it, clean. But we're just going to do the partition right now. Next thing it's going to ask you, where you're at. So I can set the time right. Of course, uh, yeah, I'm in the western area of the United States. And you click continue. And Next, keyboard layout, English US is what I'm selecting. Probably most of you watching this video are going to select the same. But uh, unless you're in the UK or something like that. Okay, the next thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you uh, your name, the name you want to name the computer it'll automatically name it for you uh, username password confirm password uh, unlike Microsoft you don't have to tell them your phone number your address you don't even have to do anything more than just you can just put your first name in there or whatever you want okay the next thing since this is uh, we're doing a side-by-side -side installation with Windows you can uh, you'll be given an option to import some of those things from Windows or not. And the next thing we see is uh, welcome and thank you for choosing Linux Mint. Uh, this slideshow will show you around while the system is being installed on your computer. You can watch the slideshow or go get something for dinner and come back. It takes a while for this to, to finish the, the installation process. Okay, now when, when you're done if you've successfully installed Linux you want to uh, make sure that you run the software update manager from the menu okay and make sure because it'll it'll make sure that you have all the correct drivers and everything installed for your computer and it'll smooth if it's not running real good right now after you do that it'll smooth it out okay so yeah the software update manager in your in the in the menu should be down on the uh, in, uh, in your Linux mint uh, cinnamon menu okay all right, I hope that helped you out. I hope that I turned you on to Linux and uh, spread the word. Okay, God bless. Goodbye.